Hi, um, just back with another quick video on set analysis. It's uh, part three. I've created three new text objects. Um, again, you can use set analysis within graphs and other charts. So i am just use text objects. So I find them easier just to, to, to teach people. So I'm going to go into properties of the first one. Um, I'm just going to zoom into the code. So again, it's some, you're looking for the currency back because it is a text objects text object sorry um, and you want the sum of the profit and the, the set is basically one which says it's, it disregards all other uh, current selections and it chooses the country of origin which is the column header from the CSV file and where it's equal to United States of America so just zoom back out again if I copy actually, I'll just copy that piece of code. Actually, I've already pasted it in there. So if I zoom into the second text object, what we've done is we we've basically added the year where the year is equal to 2011. The country of origin in this case is equal to Ireland. Um, so we just if we look at the the code to the previous text object, all we basically what we done is we removed the one and the less than sign and replace it with dollar less than year equals 2011 comma and that pretty much added the year to the next uh, text object so what we've got is this is specific to the USA so for example if we choose countries here or um, different months this is locked to USA and the year 2010 if we follow on um, I'll just go back into actually we, we've already explained that one explain the next one um what we're doing is it's the same again just going to zoom in we're choosing where the year is equal to 2010 and 2011 and the country of origin is not equal to ireland it's equal to any country beginning with i so we're basically uh, it's i and the star or the multiplication symbol so for example i could change that to you and i'll get the countries beginning with you so that's pretty much it i hope it helps and i'll see you next trick cheers